Hello friends, in today's video, we shall go through the indirect utility function. An ordinary utility function denoted as u as a function of good x shows the utility derived directly from the consumption of good x or any good and it represents the consumer's preferences directly. That is, if suppose I am purchasing a mobile phone or a laptop or any accessories or jewelry, I am getting a utility directly from the consumption of those goods. So since the consumer receives a utility directly from the product, the ordinary utility function is also known as direct utility function. Function. On the other hand, indirect utility function which is denoted as V, the function of P, X and M where P, X represents the price of good X and M represents the consumer's money income shows the maximum utility attainable indirectly from the consumption of a product based on the prices of the goods as well as the consumer's income. So here we are talking about the indirect utility that the consumer is receiving from the consumption of the product. Now how it is indirect? The consumer is focusing on the price of the good as well as the consumer's income in order to purchase that product. If the consumer is okay with the price of the product and the price comes within the consumer's income limit, then he gets a satisfaction or a utility that he can purchase that product. So that is what is called as indirect utility. The utility that is indirectly derived from the purchase of a product, that is the consumer is focusing mainly on the price of the goods and income in order to purchase that particular product. And if either price or consumer's income changes, the level of utility will also be affected. For example, when we go to a supermarket, we usually look up the price of the goods as well as our income in order to purchase a particular good and how much quantity of that good needs to be purchased. Now suppose the consumer wants to purchase a particular product and he sees that the price of the product has currently decreased. So then he or she will be happy to purchase that product because the price of the product has decreased. Similarly, when the consumer's income increases, again the consumer will be happy that he will be able to purchase a particular product in whatever quantity he wishes to purchase. So the utility that the consumer receives when he knows that the price of a good has decreased or his income has increased, that utility is known as the indirect utility. That is the utility is deriving not from the consumption of the product but the consumer is focusing upon the price of the good as well as his income. Whereas direct utility means whatever the product the consumer is purchasing, the features or the characteristics of the product is what is giving utility to the consumer. Say for example, when we are purchasing a mobile phone, we usually look up the price of the mobile phone, our income as well as the specifications of the mobile phone. So first of all, we set a budget limit for purchasing a mobile phone. That budget limit is set based on our income. After that, we search on the internet for all the necessary specifications or features that we want on the mobile phone and that too priced within our budget limit. And when we find a mobile phone priced within our budget limit with all the necessary specifications, the utility that we receive knowing that that particular mobile phone is priced within my budget limit, so I'll be able to purchase it. That is what is known as the indirect utility. On the other hand, the specifications of the mobile phones, say for instance, we might be looking for a mobile phone with good camera quality or sound quality or RAM or high storage space. So after we have purchased the mobile phones with all these necessary specifications, the utility that we derive from these features of the mobile phone, now that is the direct utility that received from the mobile phone. So if mobile phone is our good X, then the direct utility function can be written as utility is a function of X, where X is our mobile phone, whereas indirect utility function is represented represented as V is a function of price of X and M where PX is the price of the good X which is our mobile phone and M is the consumer's income. Now suppose if two goods X1 and X2 are given with its respective prices and income then the indirect utility function can be written as V is equal to U the function of X1 which is a function of P1 and M and X2 which is a function of P2 and M. So this can be read as utility is a function of goods X1 and X2 and and the goods X1 and X2 are the functions of its respective prices and consumer's income. Now we shall see how to derive an indirect utility function. Now suppose the objective function is given as u is equal to xy which is a Cope Douglas utility function subject to the budget constraint m is equal to px multiplied by x plus py multiplied by y. We know the Marshallian demand functions for good x and y that is x is equal to m divided by 2px and y is equal to m divided by 2py. Now substituting the Marshallian 
partially in demand functions for good x and y on to the objective function u is equal to x y we get u is equal to m divided by 2 px multiplied by m divided by 2 py which is m square divided by 4 px py and this is the indirect utility function so this can be written as v the function of px py m is equal to m square divided by 4 px py